we had always had, you know, every year we dusted off a hurricane preparedness plan in the newspaper. So we always had a kind of a general idea what um, what we would do in an emergency. That year was kind of unusual because Scripps Treasure Ghost newspapers were building a new printing plant, and the plant was not open yet. But we had, we had identified it that year as our hurricane um, disaster site. We knew it was big. We knew it was new, and also being located out of St. Lucie West, we were hopeful that maybe it wouldn't quite get the full uh, brunt of the hurricane. But uh, uh, boy, were we wrong. <laughs> the building sure took a whack, and uh, we found out that there were a few structural problems with that building. You know, Scripps asked for volunteers. We asked employees, would you volunteer to stay during a hurricane and leave your home and in some cases leave your family and come out to our building and help us um, cover the cover the hurricane. During Francis, my recollection is we probably had 20 or 30 people with assorted cats and dogs and family members. Um, the cats were in one little room on this end of the building and the dogs were in one room on that end of the building. I think it started out kind of fun. It kind of started out like a camp out. No one really knew what to expect. We knew the storm was coming right at us. Um, it wasn't particularly strong. Um, at first, so I think it was kind of a festive atmosphere as the, as, the, as the night went on and the power went out and the lights went out and there was some damage to the building, uh, the mood changed to, very, uh, to a very serious atmosphere and there were times during the night where it was fright and we, we huddled in the interior room and didn't put aside covering the news for a minute, just worried about our own safety. Many folks have found out later, of course, that their roofs have been blown off their homes, there was enormous damage to their personal property, and yet uh, staff member after staff member uh, stayed and continued to uh, produce the journalism and tell the stories of the hurricanes for our customers. And it was absolutely uh, inspiring to witness. In 2004, um, we still relied on the print newspaper to get the news out to the community. We had a website, TC Palm was alive and doing well. Um, it wasn't nearly as robust as it was now. Mobile phones was really not a way that we communicated with the community and disseminated news at that time. So we had to make a de decision very quickly, can we get a print product out? And we couldn't the first day. Roads were down, we had, elect we had electricity back at the printing plant, but um, Getting staff there and getting the printing press running uh, was, a, was a logistical challenge. And getting the news back from our reporters and photographers across the Treasure Coast to our building there where we could compile it into a print product was really challenging for the first 24 hours. Um, as, the, as roads reopened and, and uh, our staff members started, were able to drive out to the printing plant, they started coming in one by one. By one with film and notebooks and stories and first-hand recollections. And um, we just started compiling all those into, into news stories and, and, and photo pages. And, you know, started, started documenting what had happened to the Treasure Coast. Mm -hmm.